Okay, I'm here at uh, Lucas Global Brand on behalf of from uh, Inverhouse Distillers, I think. Yeah. Is that correct? That's correct. And uh, you have something special uh, from Old Pony to talk yep. Uh, yep. about today, yes. which is? Uh, which is a single cast from 1997. Uh, we've brought the whole core range. So we have um, our Navigator. Uh, we also have the 12-year-old, uh, which is the flagship expression from Old Pulteney. We have the 17-year-old, which we call a bit of a, a hidden gem. It's a whiskey drinker's whiskey. Um, and we also have the 21-year-old, which famously won the World Whiskey of the Year in Jim Murray's Whiskey Bible in 2012. Uh, it's still very much uh, sought after. Um, but what causes a bit of excitement today is the 1997 uh, single cask. It's cask number 1076, uh, bottled late last year, uh, and it's not yet available in Belgium. It's exclusive to the Belgian market, but it's going to be available towards the end of February, um, maybe early in March. Um, okay. And you will you will only see 240 bottles. Um, this is bottle number 232. Uh, so it's one so of there the. there are only eight left. <laughs> no. Uh, all of them are left, hopefully. We've only drunk half of this bottle, so... Uh, we still have a little bit to go. Yeah. I notice it's a, this is the packaging, right? The yeah, yeah, it's like, a, it's like a sailor's bag. It's a sailor's bag, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. It looks nice. We use them for uh, really limited uh, single casks and, 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 and whatnot, yeah. I think they look, they look pretty good. Um, so what, what makes this whiskey special? Um, when we look at a cask from a particular year that are maturing in our warehouses, um, We'll select the ones that we think are a little bit special, um, that showcase the character of the distillery in a particular way, um, that maybe lets you see the distillery DNA in a, you know, from a particular angle. Uh, and if they're interesting, if they're different, if they're a bit special, we'll offer them to different customers around the world as single casks. And we don't do a lot of single casks at all, we only do a few a year. Um, so it's always quite, a, quite an occasion and it's always really interesting to see. Um, this particular one has this beautiful, deep vanilla, creamy vanilla character. It has a little bit of that sort of white chocolate uh, uh, texture to it, uh, a little bit of citrus running through the top. Um, and in my opinion, at this age, at the age of around 18 years, um, it's still showing a lot of that distillery house style and it, it still has a little bit of that salty maritime yeah, that's sea what I, air. That's feel. something which makes your whiskey typical, it's a little bit of slight saltiness and I had the opportunity to taste this one already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's delicious and it has the same character as the other old, old Pulteney's yeah. have. It's, it's quite nice. Yeah. yeah, That's the idea. So the distillery DNA has to run through all the expressions that we release. Um, but a single cask, uh, the job that a single cask does is it also shines light at the distillery style from a slightly different uh, from a slightly different angle and I think this one achieves that really really well it's very drinkable uh, but it's quite a quite a happy quite a bright whiskey it jumps out of the glass and at the age of 18 you would expect it to be maybe a bit tannic uh, the cask to start taking over but that's not the case it's still a very bright very crisp very clean whiskey it's a delicious one so it will be available when in, uh, in Belgium uh, we're hoping it will be available towards the end of February 2016 uh, but it may be until March that you see it on on the shelves from and uh, do you have an idea about uh, price range? No, unfortunately not. Not, yet. No. not even in British pounds? No, no, you will have to you'd have to speak to my colleagues at Premium Spirits and they'll be able to, to ah, advise. Then okay. I'll have to go talk to them <laughs> yeah, next yeah, then. Excellent, yeah. Well I would like to thank you a lot for this uh, interview and I hope to see you soon again no problem, on the next uh, show or something. Yeah. Okay, thank Very you. Good. Thanks for stopping by. Bye. Okay, cheers. Man. <laughs>